Ah uh, yes, hello dear. This is the Ninth Dimensional Pleiadian Collective and it is a pleasure and an honor to have the opportunity to connect with you. So today we are very happy to have the opportunity to talk to you about gratitude and really we wanted to look at the mechanics of it to help you have a greater understanding of why it is so important that you express gratitude for the things that are already showing up in your life. In terms of the process of manifestation, And regardless of what it is that you want to create, gratitude is an important vibration to hold within your field. And then also how gratitude impacts your health and well-being. Having gratitude can actually change your biochemistry. Let's first start with the process of manifestation itself. Your part in the process is to hold frequency. It's to make vibrational selections, and most of the time that's happening at the subconscious level. If you're particularly conscious, probably about 93% of what you are experiencing throughout your day is happening at the subconscious level. For most people, it's probably about 95, 96% is happening subconsciously. So you are learning to change that process from a subconscious process to a conscious one. And you do that by continually checking in to acknowledge, to observe where you are vibrating. What thoughts are you holding? What emotions are you holding? When you are consciously directing that energy, then you're not letting those default programs that are at the subconscious level drive the energy out into being. So when you consciously choose a frequency, it's far more potent and powerful than the weak signals that are constantly going out from your subconscious. Now in the process of manifestation, you are responsible for generating frequency and then observing form as it is presented to you by the universe and then making another vibrational selection, meaning deciding which frequencies you want to engage with. The creation of the form itself is not your responsibility. The universe will create co-create with you in terms of putting you on a now moment in which you can be of the greatest service and you can have the greatest growth potential. Sometimes that means that there are opportunities that don't look anything like what the ego mind thinks you're supposed to be creating and they may far exceed the potential of what the ego mind says is possible. So it is vital that you start observing the frequencies, the vibrational essence of what it is that you want to create. You can use form in terms of the visualization process, but you have to be unattached to the form. So in other words, it can give you direction, but then whether it shows up that way or not, it doesn't matter. We often like to talk about it like gifts that uh, are wrapped for you. You're obsessed and you're focused on how it is wrapped rather than the gift inside. The gift inside is the frequency. Your attachment to the form is the box and the way it's wrapped. So the universe can bring you the gift. It might come in 50 different, different wrappings and the one that you have the expectation for is the 49th one. Well, there are plenty of opportunities before that that you missed, and sometimes there were little bonus gifts inside, things that you wanted, but because you were fixated on what that form looked like, you missed it. It passes you by, and it generally takes much longer to create that way because there are lots of opportunities that you're missing before that. So, you are pulsing out frequency, and then the universe is matching that. It's reflecting it back to you. Now, wherever you are vibrating is going to determine what you are capable of seeing in the world. 
So if you are vibrating at a lower rate, those filters of lack, limitation, and separation are going to keep you from seeing something that is of a higher vibrational nature. What you will see are all the programs that are running reflected back in physical form, all those ideas of lack, limitation, and separation. But when you are in your heart-centered space, that is your operating system to access multidimensional information and to really work with the power of source. To allow you to co-create very clearly and consciously with the universe. Your mind is where all the programs of lack, limitation, and separation are. We consider that to be the low mind. It is what allows you to play under the illusion of separation. It allows you to play in the illusion of 3D reality. The universe doesn't really exist in the way that you think it does in your 3D construct. You are one with all that is. That is never in dispute. That is never the case, all right? It is impossible for you really to be disconnected, but you put up these stories, you put up these blinders, these barriers that prevent you from seeing the totality of your being in order to play under the illusion. Think of it like an actor who dons a role for a character. All right. You have to forget that you are the actor in order to play the role and you immerse yourself in the story of who you think that character is and then you're playing through that. And that is what it is like in reality. You as a divine being of light having this physical experience. In terms of using gratitude, what gratitude is helping you to do is to move back into that heart-centered space. When you are in that heart-centered space, there are no filters of lack, limitation, and separation. Because the frequency of gratitude is unconditional. In order to experience and express that gratitude, you are not judging something as being good, bad, right, or wrong. There is only unconditional appreciation for that in the moment. When you are expressing that unconditional appreciation, you're in the heart center, and when you're in the heart center, you are accessing the full breadth of the bandwidth of source energy. When you go up into the mind, you are limiting what you have access to. So each limiting thought, I'm not good enough, I'm not deserving, people are mean, the world is falling apart, all these judgments are compressing this bandwidth. So think about it like high-speed dial-up versus, you know, having to dial up on the phone. All right, for those of you who are old enough to remember, it took forever for you to access the internet. The information was there, it just took a long time to get through. And that's what happens when your field starts to collapse. The moment you judge something, you want to make yourself separate from it in that illusion. And the way that you do that is by not allowing the full force of source to run through your field. So you, in essence, cut off half of source energy when you judge it. When you are experiencing gratitude, there is no uh, repulsion of any energy because there's no condition on it. There's no judgment on it. And so you are able to run full energy. When you run full energy through your body, you are able to see and access more divine wisdom. All right, so if you're having a challenging moment, when you go into gratitude for what is in front of you, what is showing up, what is there, then you'll start to notice more things that you can be grateful for because you are in resonance with that. And you also are opening up to solutions to challenges. 
Every time you create a challenge, you also create a solution. They are two sides of the same coin. They're just in different vibrational ranges. When you are in your fear programs, in your lower mind, they're all down here. They're at a lower level. When you are in the heart center and grateful, those solutions are up here and you have access to them. So they easily flow to you. Oh, this is what I need to do to resolve that situation. That it hadn't occurred to you because you were in fear and you just couldn't perceive it. Remember we said whatever it is that you are using as a filter is what you are capable of seeing. So in other words, if you think people are mean, if you think nobody's kind, everybody's selfish, then that is the kind of behavior that you will see reflected back to you. When you think that people are generous, people are kind, that the world is moving in a positive direction, you will start to see more indications of that. And you will start to see your life aligning with that. That you yourself will start taking more positive actions, that you yourself will start to express more kindness and it just feeds on itself. So the more often you can put yourself in a space of gratitude and appreciation, then you'll find that life flows in an easier way. Anytime you have a challenging situation arise, be aware that it is there to show you that program of lack, limitation, or separation. When you have gratitude for it showing up to show you what you could not see, you didn't have the awareness before, but you have gratitude for the fact that it's there to show you that, then you don't stay in a creative loop with it. When you have a situation that you don't like and you've created and you wanna make yourself separate from it, you're gonna to continue to create that. In the process of manifestation, many of you will say that you want something that is positive, but the reason you want the positive is to avoid the negative. You will actually stay in a loop with the negative until you accept it, until you make it part of the inclusiveness, uh, the wholeness of source energy. Once you do that, then you can move towards the positive. You're not attached to the positive, but you're curious about the positive. So that's a stumbling block that many of you experience, but that sensation of gratitude keeps you open and then you can make course corrections in your life, the actions that you need to take or the awarenesses that you need to have in order to start to move forward and to elevate yourself. Now, also know in the process of manifestation, many times you might repeat things um, in order to achieve mastery. It requires repetition. So it's not that you're doing something wrong, it's just that you're really getting familiar with a subtle frequency, and that's it. You learn to move through it very quickly and onto a new frequency. You embody it. You stay there longer each time. You can go back there easier each time. And gratitude is a gateway frequency that will allow you access to multidimensional information and energy. Now, in terms of your own health and well being, when you embody the frequencies of gratitude, joy, appreciation, acceptance, what that does is again, it keeps you in that heart centered space. When you are in this heart-centered space, you are present in the moment. When you are present in the moment, you are in the heart-centered space. It allows you to run different energy. The body communicates in a different way. Your heart is communicating with your brain. The brain isn't necessarily sending signals to the heart. The heart is the master sending signals to the brain and you're able to put yourself in your parasympathetic nervous system and you start creating a different set of chemicals that allow the body to go into rest, digest, or rest and repair, as we like to say. It allows the body the ability to 
really uh, go into a better state of health. In today's world, you all are running on a constant state of stress. You're constantly in judgment and if you've got to do, 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 do because you're not enough, because this is lacking, because that's lacking, uh, because in order to be loved, you've got to be of a particular status or you've got to show up in a particular way. There's always a state of doing, the masculine. And what you're learning right now is to move more towards the feminine energy. So you find balance between the masculine and the feminine. And when you are able to do that, when you are able to just be still, to express that sense of gratitude, to have that feeling, when you are working with that feeling state, you're moving back into the feminine and you are opening to the totality of source. Source energy is what replenishes you. It's what revitalizes the cellular structure. It's what gives the cells uh, restored energy. Oxygen, your breathing is different when you are in the parasympathetic nervous system as opposed to the sympathetic, the fight or flight aspect of your autonomic nervous system. When you are breathing shallow, when you're in fight or flight, you are not getting the nutrients through the body in the same way. The oxygen isn't moving through the body in the same way because for the most part, you're breathing in a very shallow way when you are consistently in this state. When you move into the parasympathetic, you're able to slow down and have deeper breaths. And then the body is moving nutrients all over and you're creating different chemicals, different digestive enzymes, different hormones that allow the body to um, go into a healthier state. So gratitude, something that is seemingly so simple, can have a massive impact on your life. Make it a new habit for yourself that you're checking in several times a day to notice where you're vibrating and then put yourself into a state of gratitude. Your emotions are not dictated by the external. As you choose an emotional frequency, as you choose how you want to feel, that emanates out and opportunities to reflect that very frequency to you start to show up. So you will, in essence, create a reflection that reinforces the original feeling state. It's not the external first informing the internal, it's the internal generating the external, reinforcing the internal. So we've given you a lot of information today, but um, just be very, very kind to yourself and you know, take what resonates out of what we said. Some of it, you know, for some of you, it might be a little over your head in terms of the process of manifestation and that's okay. Just focus on gratitude. That's all you need to know. For those of you who are students of the process of attraction and reflection, uh, then you can go a little deeper with your practice. Just keep focusing on that gratitude. Now we are grateful to have the opportunity to connect with you. You can connect with us at any time. You don't need Wendy. All you need to do is ground, heart center yourself. Think of something that makes you smile. Think of something that you are grateful for. Ask your question and listen. All right. So until then, we are around, we are watching, we are waiting, and we are sending many, many well wishes.